This is for my black women and my black women only. Clock out for the rest of the year. I want us to be radical about our self-care, about our rest. We've done what we needed to do. We always get the job done. We always wear the burdens on our backs. We're the fixers, we're the nurturers. But I really want you to take a step back, be radical about your self-care, and be unapologetic about your self-care because you deserve it. Rest well, queen. Hey, y'all. Really quick, I am going to be doing a video about Black women and how Black women are actually coping with um, Kamala Harris's loss and... What most people I'm seeing, at least on TikTok, and y'all know I like TikTok because it's outside of the media. Uh, it's really just people's voices. They're not afraid to, you know, not say what they want to say most of the time. And you can get some real opinions versus uh, even asking people that you know or asking people on the street you know, with a camera on them, a lot of times people will not want to say certain things that they're going to do. Like what we saw with this election, the media really showed, hey, you know, Kamala's got this in the bag. and There's no way people are going to vote for Trump. And then as y'all saw, which I was trying to warn, like, hey, a lot of people are saying they vote for Trump. But anyway, uh, and here we are today. Like, hey, I mean, the liberal, the Democratic Party, have been using black women a lot and black men i would say but primarily black women and you know <laughs> all the women issues all the lgbtq plus issues a lot of times women are standing with a lot of these groups and black women are saying nope get somebody else to do it i do not think this election will end the way that some people are thinking it will end um, I, I think something's going to go down that we're not expecting or we don't see coming yet. So I don't think it's going to end the way we think it's going to end. That being said, I w want black women to keep the same energy that they have right now. I want black women to keep the same energy that they have right now. I don't want us to switch back. I don't want us to go back into that um, lead the charge, lead the change attitude that we have keep the capes off we're done when people show you who they are believe them that's word to my angela we believe you we saw we saw the um percentages you don't have to show us anymore we see it this is coming from someone that led marches in 2020 i'm not doing any more goddamn protests for anybody ex unless it's one of my fellow sisters or the um, 80 something percent of black men that voted, period. I don't care, go cry tears to somebody that gives a damn, because I don't. I'm not losing sleep over it, I just see you. So I'm gonna treat you accordingly, point blank period. Black women rest era from here on out. So since we are now as a collective black woman in our rest era, I decided to kind of like tell you guys what I'm gonna be doing for the next four years. I will be getting fine as Okay, I'll be getting in the best shape of my life. I will be creating content consistently and building my social media strategy business. Yesterday, something in me shifted. I can't even put it to words. I'm going to try, but something in me shifted yesterday. Something in me shifted in a way where it was like, you know what? It is time for you to stop being in service to other people and focus on your mother self. It is time for you to start to put yourself first. It is time for you to start to prioritize yourself. It is time for you to stop playing with your potential. Like something in me shifted. I can't even I can't even describe it. And as I scroll through TikTok, I realize I'm not the only one. And that makes me feel so fu So it really took Donald Trump being elected president again for you to decide that you need to focus on yourself. She should have already been doing this. I don't understand why it's taking Donald Trump becoming president for y'all to focus on yourself and do these great things for yourself. We're good off you. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm not even going to go into the, I'm not even, a, I'm not even going to go into specifics, but just know we're good. We're done. We're good. We're good. And I will have my noise canceling headphones on for the next four years. Honestly, until the foreseeable future. Another thing that I've done is I've unfollowed anybody that was following the person that won because I refuse to say his name. I also 
have deleted all of my dating apps and I've also deleted my profiles because I'm done. I've already been unintentionally doing the 4B movement, but now I am now actively announcing it out loud. I am a part of the 4B movement, okay? Until the foreseeable future. So for the next four years and onward, depending on what is put in place and what kind of mess happens, and onward, I will be in the gym, holding my camera, editing content, building a business. That's it. Nothing else. Oh, and of course, traveling. Duh. Duh. I will be traveling. But um, aside from that, I'm good. I'm checked out. I love y'all. Okay, so for an entire four years, you're just not going to address this man. He's already been a president. So if you were to address him, whether he had won this election or not, would have been President Trump. I do think that's a little silly. I love y'all. I love us. So hyperindependence is a trauma response, is what they say. But who exactly are we supposed to ask for help? Because America just showed us her whole ass the other day. Baby, we all we got. The only silver lining of this election was that black men and women came together and stood ten toes down. Well, nine, because some of y'all act like that little raggedy ass pinky toe that can't grow a nail. Just useless. But that's actually not why I came up here. For those of you who deal with life and challenges through humor, y'all all right? Y'all okay? Because I'm not gonna lie, yesterday was not a good day. Shout out to Sesame Street for the calm and the and the doom scroll. And I was gonna say nothing, like absolutely nothing, until I felt funny again and then I realized I would be remiss if I did not submit my opinion in history and go down as saying that Miss Madam VP Kamala Harris fought one hell of a fight like she left it all out there on the field. The only person I'm low-key mad at is myself for believing that somehow this time would be different. In either case a great philosopher by the name of uh, Sir Kendrick Lamar who hails out of Compton once said they're not like us they are not like us we got royalty and loyalty inside our DNA we got power pain and joy inside of our DNA and homie they effed up but we, baby, we gonna be all right. You hear me? Do you feel me? Because, baby, we, we gonna be all right. Now, that lady had me rolling with that video. She is too funny. Excuse me, can you record me real quick? Hmm? Can you record me real quick? Mm -mm, get somebody else to do it. A few things we should take away from this. Number one, spend your money wisely or not at all. If you have been playing around in the financial department, the economic department, whatever you want to call it, now is the time to lock in. As we've seen, no group of people who have been in power, who have had the most amount of resources for such a long period of time, is just going to willingly start dispersing resources to the rest of the world. No. And actually, now they're going to make it a lot harder for us to acquire said resources. So stop spending unnecessarily build your emergency fund start investing budget the money that you do have and if you can start making a plan to open up different sources of income because you're going to need more than one i hate to break it to you but unless you're over that three hundred thousand dollar a year mark you could use more income and we have to be honest about this stuff we have to talk about it we have to have it out in the open yes things suck this is not the most favorable situation for a lot of us but now we have to get to a point where we're going to start making actionable plans so that we can save ourselves women you need to have some kind of weapon with you at all times if you are not on birth control you need to shut that down if you want to take a chance with someone that could potentially take the condom off something could rip any kind of accident can happen you do that but the margin of error in that department is going to be close to none there will be no room for error so take your proper precautions and let's lock in for the next four years and make of this what we can hey black women i have a message for you make no bones about it i love all women but truth be told our battles are different based on the skin that we bear so black women hear me when i say your purpose is bigger than this moment. I grant you permission to rest. I remind you that since this country's inception, black women have carried it on their backs. The first to show up, the last to leave, the most educated, the trendsetters, the culture shifters, the innovators, the sustainers, healers, the artists, and the muse. Baby, it's always been you. And there is nothing that the black woman hasn't survived up until this point. So what you think that this time going to be any different? God loves us infinitely and we continue to thrive and we will continue to show up for us and you, 
You, you. Following this election, I have never seen so many black women say that they are stepping back and prioritizing themselves. Even though I'm Nigerian British, I follow so many black American creators and in the run up to the election and every election, there's almost always so much adv advocacy, promoting like where the poll stations are, speaking about the elections. There's almost always so much work done by black American women when it comes to their elections. Like they have never taken a back seat. As long as I've been online anyway, it's always been a huge priority for them like i've never seen this where almost all of them at least most of the creators i follow on here threads everywhere have said no i'm prioritizing my peace i'm prioritizing my community i'm prioritizing people who look like me i'm prioritizing myself and i think a lot of them are kind of excited for what this new season of not giving an f <laughs> gonna bring like feel so inspired by how much they've just decided to draw a boundary they've you've just decided to say nope no more i'm not doing any more and i think some of us can learn from that like diaspora wars is always gonna be a thing as cousins families fight all the time but one thing i find so incredibly inspiring is how you lot you lot put yourselves first when when push comes to shove you lot know when enough is enough and i love that and i think there's a lot to learn from that too Black women's project 2025 is to rest we've done all we can we've done all we can i said in my last video that community is the answer that's it i need you to tap in to the people who love and care about you i need you guys over the next few months to take inventory of what resources that you have that can be shared amongst you if you are a christian this is a very biblical value right um acts and acts they had all things in common christianity is actually a very communal <laughs> despite what we've seen and heard christianity is a very communal religion and so um project 2025 black folks black women especially your job is to rest kick up your feet take off the cape we showed up we showed out we spoke up we did what we were supposed to do it is now time to rest and i actually i'm saying black women but black men as well black men as well it is your time to rest rest is an act of resistance rest is a, a rebellion it is. And I don't mean rest like be apathetic because that's not what we need. Some of us do need to organize, but I want you to organize for your community, not to save the country. We're done with that now. We're done with that. We'll vote again in 2026 and do our part in the midterm elections to boost whatever, whatever we can. But your project 2025, no matter what happens in the in, with the actual project 2025, which remains to be seen, your job is to do your best to love yourself to dig deep deep roots in your community and to see what we can do together we have officially been outed out of this democracy it is it's not for us we will reap the consequences but we are resilient black people are resilient there was another creator on here. Um, she she made a, a video and I'm, I think I reposted it. But she said, like, we we've been we've been through this. We, we know what to do. We've been faced with this before for um, the minorities who wanted white proximity so bad that you voted against yourself. I pray and I hope that you um, learn very quickly and you assimilate very quickly to um, the resilience, the level of resilience that you will need for you to thrive in this new and upcoming democracy. Um, I will speak more on this as I feel like I'm going to be making videos throughout today. Um, but rest today, especially I'm planning. I unfortunately plan to see a client today because I was optimistic. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do that. But other than that, I was going to get some work done today. I am resting um, I'm going to take care of my household. I might clean up a little bit, um, but I am investing in me. And then I'm going to have some TLC. I have some TLC planned later uh, this evening. And then um, this weekend, we have, me and my girls have a sleepover planned. That's what I'm doing in response to this. Um, and of course, I'm going to spend some time in prayer and I'm going to journal. I'll make another video um, soon about like how to cope and how to process. Um, please stay tuned. I'm, I'm already planning to meet with colleagues on how we can support our community during this time. Um, so stay tuned. There will be free resources, free resources that I am working on. So, um, yeah. This post is for black women and black women only. Sis, 
while we are calling our power back, while we are taking the ancestral practices of community care, engagement, liberation language, while we're taking all that back, can we also be menaces? I think it's time for us to be menaces. We've been so kind and patient with everybody. We have been so giving and nurturing to everybody. I think it's time to be menaces. I think it's time to, for us to pull out our inner Fannie Lou Hamer. I think it's time for us to pull out our inner Shirley Chisholm. I think it's time for us to pull out our generations of Hellraisers. We have epigenetic resistance encoded in our DNA. Let's call some hell. I don't think you all are fully grasping what it means for black women as a whole to be taking a step back, but allow me to illustrate what that's gonna look like for you. When there's a bunch of mess going on at work and you can see that there's this one person harassing people or when people aren't getting paid well, when usually black women would have stepped up and started, uh, started advocating, they're not doing that anymore. When you're in the checkout line and somebody behind the counter is being rude to you or vice versa and a black woman steps in usually to advocate or to step in and you know calm things down they're not doing that anymore when the news is reporting about the horrendous things happening in your own country or in our own country and things are happening on a grander scale and black women take to social media and take to the streets and get shit done they're not doing that anymore Time and time again, y'all have left black women high and dry on the front lines for issues that most often did not even involve us, but we were always advocating and making sure everybody was taken care of. We are not doing that anymore. In every aspect of world system, in every aspect of society, people benefit off of black women speaking up, making space, and advocating, and protesting, and without that energy, there is going to be a very different experience for all groups in the United States while black women are taking this rest, as they should, as we should, but just- Just like we saw in the other video that I posted about the meltdowns, this I see as another meltdown for all of the black women that voted for Kamala Harris and have recognized that, hey, other groups didn't show out quite like black women and also black men did and we expected them to and they are dealing with those feelings. I do think this is a better way to deal with the feelings but also doing things like caring for yourself and focusing on your health and your finances and saving money and making sure that you're good. Black women should have already been doing that. For black women, I don't quite understand why they don't think other people are looking out for themselves also. But then the other point that I want to make is that I think a lot of black women are not even looking at the fact that there were people that came out to vote for Kamala Harris. It wasn't that only black women voted for her. Also, there are a lot of reasons that many did not vote for Kamala Harris, including black men and black women. We can't lie to ourselves and say black women did not vote for Trump and black men did not vote for Trump. Not in great numbers, but they've said that Kamala Harris did not present a case that really got to the bottom of their issues, which a lot of it was the economy. There are also a lot of black people that are Christian in this country and they take issue with some of the transitions that are happening right now. So not everyone thinks the same way, including black women. And if you can look at black people and say, oh, not everyone thinks the same way, not everyone has the same issues, and not everyone is gonna vote in the same way, you can look at other groups and say the same thing. Overall, I like the message. Who wouldn't? It's very positive. It's almost like an alchemist taking in something that you didn't want and using that for something positive. But I truly think it will be a challenge for Black women to truly sit down, rest, take care of and focus on their own issues because you know history has shown that oftentimes black women when called will get out there and do work like when you haven't had the opportunity to rest you know in this country we have been toiling in many different ways i would say any black woman that feels like they should take a step back from politics especially, hey, do what you need to do. Things will continue happening just because you're taking a step back. Things will continue to happen. You have to be able to deal with those consequences. However, 
<laughs> I can also understand many black women saying, hey, this Democratic Party overall as a collective is not doing much for me. I will take a step back and let y'all handle things from here. I see no issue with that. Let me know what you think and I will talk to y'all later.